Welcome back. Today we are going to solve this problem. And there is a patient who is a 38 year old woman and she was admitted to the ICU and her height is 5'6, weight is 65 kilograms and she is on pepricillin 4 grams IV 6 hours. Okay, that means uh, 4 grams every 6 hours. Okay, so per day, 24 hours, she'll be getting a dose of 16 grams. Okay, this is for pepericillin. And what about uh, ciprofloxacin? She is also on ciprofloxacin, right? So ciprofloxacin, she is taking 500 mg 12 hours, 1000 milligrams every 24 hours. This is the dose rate, 16 grams per day, 1000 milligrams per day. This is dose rate. Now, we have to calculate the new dose rate for this patient so we have to calculate the renal fudge factor so to calculate the renal fudge factor we need to calculate the renal function if you have to calculate the real function we calculate patient's creatinine clearance how do you calculate the patient's creatinine clearance we use a Cockcroft and Gold equation this is the Cockcroft and Gold equation which we already discussed if you didn't watch this video you better watch it and since it's, she's a female patient, she's a woman, so we're multiplying this 140 minus H times the body weight, okay, uh, divided by serum creatinine times 72, the entire equation with 0 0.85. Okay, the body weight, in this particular problem, we are using the ideal body weight. Why we are using the ideal body weight? If you want to know the details, watch the Cockcroft and Gold equation video. Okay, now we are going to solve the creatine uh, clearance problem. So 140 minus age, she is a 30, 38 year old, right? So 140 minus 38 times 59.3, that is the ideal body weight which I calculated. Again, watch the uh, Cockcroft and Gold equation, how to get the ideal body weight. And her body weight is 65 kilograms, but we are going to use ideal body weight. Divide by 3 times 3 mg per deciliter is the serum creatinine levels. Okay, so 3 times 72. We're multiplying this entire equation 0 0.85 because she's a female patient, right? So if you solve for this, the creatinine clearance of the patient is 23.80. All right, now how do you calculate the renal fudge factor? Sorry, the renal function of the patient. The renal function is patient's creatinine clearance that is 23.80 divided by the creatinine clearance. How much is that? As you're aware, it's 125 ml per minute, right? So the units get cancelled and you get a value of 0 0.19. Now that we calculated the renal function of this patient, we can calculate the renal fudge factor. That's the next step, All right? Okay, what's the renal function of the patient? We calculate it. Here is the formula for the renal function. This is the formula for the renal function. It's 1 minus fraction excreted unchanged times 1 minus R. Okay. So here, the fraction excreted, it's different for different drugs. Okay. Remember that. Don't get confused. We're not using the same renal fudge factor for two different drugs. Now we're going to calculate for pepricillin. Now, 1 minus Fe of pepricillin is 0 0.7. Take like 0 0.8, it's 0 0.8 times 1 minus the renal function is 0 0.19. Just now we calculated it 0 0.19. Okay, if you solve for this one, you get the renal fudge factor value of 0 0.35. Okay, the next step is to calculate the dose rate, right? So, how do you calculate the dose rate? Uh, we already uh, this is a formula okay to calculate the dose rate. Dose rate is equal to the dose rate of the normal patient times renal fudge factor. Okay, the dose rate of the patient, or the new patient, is equal to the dose rate of the normal patient. It's the no, normal dose of the normal patient. It's 16 grams per day, so it's 16 times the renal fudge factor, that is 0 0.35. If you multiply it, you'll get a value of approximately 6 grams. This is 6 grams per day for this new patient who is renally impaired. 
Now that we calculate dose, the next step is to calculate the dose interval. The dose interval of the previous patient who is a normal patient uh, without a renal impairment is every six hours, right? Every six hours you're dosing four grams. So for the new patient, for the renal impaired patient, it's dose interval of the normal patient divided by the renal fudge factor that is 0.35. Okay, you'll get a value of uh, 17 hours approximately. Okay, 17 hours is not a good idea as you're aware if you dose uh, in the morning at 8 o'clock and probably you had a dose at 17 hours that is approximately midnight somewhere. Okay, this is not a feasible, right? So the best way to dose uh, this renal impaired patient is every 12 hours. Okay, so this is six grams per day. So a dose like three grams 12, every 12 hours. So that's six grams, 24 hours, right? Problem solved. Now, now that you calculated the dose rate of the pepercillin, we can calculate the clearance easily. Clearance is again, clearance of this renal impaired patient is clearance of the normal patient times renal fudge factor, okay? This is, so CLT or, you know, is, or CL is one of the same. The clearance of the normal patient is how much is that? It's 20 liters per hour, right? So it's 20 liters per hour times the renal fudge factor, which is 0 0.35. You get a value of approximately 7.05, okay? All right, the same thing, T half. We calculate T half of this renal impaired patient. It's T half of the normal patient, I mean, the normal patient without a renal uh, impairment. Here, the T half of the normal patient is one, one divided by the renal fudge factor, 0 0.35. So the new T half is equal to 2.8 hours. Okay, in the next video, we are gonna solve for the ciprofloxacin Again, we had to calculate the renal fudge factor because the fraction excreted is different for different drugs. I'm going to stop this video here.